What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in Zach's golf bag? What's going on, Zach? Welcome back to the new head. Big hello to you. Welcome to the outside. Um, thought I'd bring you out here today to show you a little bit more in depth of what's in the bag of my golf of my golf bag. Um, obviously, I've been playing golf a little bit. I've used the clubs. I know I know more about them. I can give you a little bit more in depth. And obviously, if you've not seen me unbox them yet, I'll put that in the top right for you. Uh, but this uh, this bag is, is full of some stuff, uh, essentials that you need to play, uh, whether you're new to golf or a seasoned veteran. I'm more of just a casual, casual gamer golfer. Um, but yeah, so I've got everything here that I'm going to show you and what I use personally for like just practice rounds and stuff. Bear in mind, I don't have a handicap at the moment, so I'm not using the best stuff. I'm still learning the clubs, I'm still learning the course um, at Whitefield. Um, so yeah, I'm learning everything and so, I've got everything I would use, whether it's different for you guys if you do play or this is this I mean this is pretty much a beginner a beginner it's a pretty much a standard beginner set for practicing and getting used to. I'm not bringing out like the big guns, you know what I mean? I'm just using my regular stuff. So I'm gonna go through the, the clubs that I've got, um, what you know everything I've got in the pockets and stuff like that and yeah just just talking you through it all so let's go starting off with the clubs I'm going to start off with the driver so we have the Callaway Warbirds obviously I love these clubs I've been wanting these for a long time and I've bought them I've, I've used them as you can tell there's a little bit of you know dirt on there white's not the best colour not going to lie but hey, sometimes you gotta be a little dirty to be good. Um, so, I've got the Callaway. I'm gonna take the uh, the head cover off. Um, and this is a 10.5 inch driver. This this bad boy is, is beautiful. It's very nice, as you can see here. And if you can see it in the camera, I'm not sure whether you will be able to. These are like the marks that I've hit it. I'm not the best, but you know, I've got it straight most of the time. I'm not doing too bad, but uh, yeah, this is this is a nice a nice driver, nice and light. Like I say, graphite shafts when I unbox them, they are beautiful to play with, very very nice. Um, and yeah, just I would highly recommend. Um, I love Callaway as a brand anyway, so anything Callaway is is in my bag instantaneously. Um, so, anyhow, moving on to the next big one. We have the five woods. Um, again, comes with a head cover. Uh, and this, this again, I need a little bit more practice with the five wood. But as you can see there, there is like little marks there that you can see. Um, I don't hit it too straight. I usually top it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, it's a nice club. A nice club. Um, I do like, you know... Like I said, I'm getting used to these clubs, and they're very, very nice. Um, I just love the design. I love the black, the black and yellow and red, uh, white, uh, blah, blah, blah. black, yellow and white design. Um, and yeah, so it's just how it be. Um, moving on to the Odyssey Putter. Uh, this is a white hot pro. This is a beautiful putter. I love this putter. It's some good putts with this putter. Um, absolutely, it's some real good ones. Very, very nice. Very smooth. Nice and easy to use. And obviously, I want to practice my putting more at home. So I am gonna look at getting a um, like a little putting green, uh, just so we can so I can practice and stuff like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful beautiful piece of equipment and the the graph the grip is gorgeous as well the little little crosses on it or something i don't know what they are oh like little swords it's beautiful it's nice i love it um moving on to the um 
for two wedges. I have a sand and a pitching wedge. I'm going to show them together because, you know, why not? There's not, not much difference in the two. I mean, one's for getting out of sand and one, the sand wedge is a slightly, slightly bigger loft than the pitching wedge. Um, but yeah, so I love the pitching wedge. It's probably one of my favorites in the bag. Like I will hands down and use the pitching wedge wherever I can to try and get like the best shots. I've had some pretty decent shots with it. Some pretty decent shots. And then I have a five, a six, a seven, an eight, and a nine um, irons. So standard irons, they're, you know, they're all the same, varying in length and size. But yeah, they're, uh, they're the air. They're, they're lovely. They're very, very nice. Beautiful. I, I love, I just love everything about golf. I really do. I, I love the clubs, I love the game. I love the, the, the stuff. So. What I'm gonna do, that is the clubs. The clubs are nice, are they not? Whew, they're beautiful. They're beautiful to play with as well. Now I've actually played with them, they're very, very nice. Very grip worthy, the grips are strong, they're beautiful. Um, obviously, you know, I've had some good shots. For me, it's not the clubs, it's it's me. Uh, I need to start working on my direction again, because say like, the pin is there, I would probably aim there and then at the last minute open the club face and it fades or draw or whatever but you know hey or i just end up topping the ball because i am shockingly bad but yeah anyhow moving on to inside the bag inside the bag so i'm going to give you an overview of the bag as well um you know a lot of storage space a lot of storage space plenty of room for everything i need it's just, one, it's just a beautiful bag, it really is. It's a tall stand bag. Um, obviously, it's got Callaway, it's a Warbird brand. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Again, easy to carry, easy to manage. Not heavy. It's perfect for when you're walking the, you know, when you're walking the course. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna do that. So, moving on, I have a glove here. This is Skims Golf. Now, I've never heard of this brand, but I found them online. I found them on um, an ad through Facebook. And they were like, hey, our gloves are very nice. You should buy one. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll see about buying one. And I was not disappointed at all. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I mean, this one is called The Good Life. Um... And it's got, they've got like little patterns on it, the various patterns. It is AAA Cabretta leather. Um, it is gorgeous. It is a medium and large size, which is what I'm in, in like a golf glove, because it needs to be nice and point. Look at that. That is beautiful. And obviously it's had a little bit of wear and tear, because obviously I've used it. Um, it does need a bit of a clean, but it's gorgeous. It is, if I were to just grab this it'd be oh it feels nice to play with it's it's beautiful it's very very nice i love it very very nice a very nice club very nice uh very nice club. sorry very nice club it's good, like i say it's called the good life and it's just it's beautiful it's uh it's a beautiful little doggy playing golf you can't go wrong with that just beautiful colour, beautiful, you know, beautiful design. Just a very nice design. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, look after your gloves, man. If you wear gloves, not everyone wears a glove. I, you know, I wear a glove because I like the feel of it. And if you don't wear a glove, then you don't have to. But if you do, look after it. It tells you to put it back in the pouch um, and just keep it safe in the bag. So, yeah. It's, oh gosh. It's beautiful. It is a. It's a. Oh, my shoes falling off. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. A beautiful, beautiful glove. What am I saying? A beautiful game. I don't know what I'm saying here, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I've been told. My grandma needs the smell of mold. All right, so that's going to go back in there, and then in this front pouch as well, I do have my uh, golf co uh, golf card holder. Um, simple, nice simple, little leather, 
comes with a pencil so you can, you know, do your markings and score down how many you've scored. I mean, I'm not the best at the minute. I'm like shooting 112 because I've not played in like two years. Hey, that's that's life. I'll get back into it. Have a good time. I'm having a good time playing. I've played. I've not played this week because I've just been busy and stuff. But, um, but yeah. So everything everything's happening at once. Um, I'm very excited to play again. There's nothing in that pocket. Where's the next stuff? Uh, this pocket. Yes. So in this pocket, I have um, a little a little groove cleaner. Uh, this is from the Masters. It is a three-in-one. It comes with like a brush, like uh, so you can just clean your brushes off. It comes with a uh, pivot, like a like a groove cleaner, and it comes with a little metal like brush as well. Beautiful design. I've, ju I've just recently used it to clean the clubs. Works very well. Very very handy. Um, and got it from, again, got it from Facebook. It was like, a, came in a pack of like balls, for like 20 quid. And I was like, no, I need that. I'm with that. I'm all right with that. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that. Swapping the bag around, putting it around. We're moving around to the back now. Um, you need, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a towel here. Wilson Staff Towel. A little bit mucky, but hey. Um, basically for using, cleaning your clubs mid-round. So when you've hit a shot, you clean your clubs, clean your grooves. Clean the grips as well, people. If you don't clean your grips, the grips are going to lose lose the grip. Um, so make sure you clean your grips as well after every shot. Uh, I don't know how many people tell you that, but it is very important. Um, and yeah, so make sure you do that. And then I'm going to bring you down a little bit lower because we're going to go through what's in the bag here at the bottom. This is the last little pouch. So, let's go. What's up? Hey. Welcome to the floor. Welcome to the floor. How's it going? Um, this is how the ball feels. It's, uh, what is that? That's nasty. Um, yeah. Looking, we're going to look in this little pouch here. I'm going to... Oh, giddy gosh. That's going to fall. Please don't fall on me. I'm not in short. No. Let's tuck that in there. Alrighty. And we'll tuck that up there as well. Alrighty. So, into the little pouch here. The first thing I'm going to start off with is it's, it's golfception. It's a golf bag in a golf bag. Look at that. Whoa. Amazing. So, this is where I keep all my teas and all the essentials my pitch repairer so when you get it on the green you repair the pitch and you you know you carry on where your balls landed it's just good golf etiquette it's just good golf etiquette uh, and inside this little bit here is a pitch repair uh, a, a ball marker um, it is like a token that you just stick on the ground the ball rolls over it and, you know, if you're playing in doubles or whatever. I don't need it at the minute because I'm playing single, I'm playing on my own. It's, uh, I'm a playing one player. But, uh, yeah, so. And then inside here are where I keep all my tees. I've got two set, two types of tees that I use. Um, and they're both wood. So these ones are granulated wood tees. I got them from like uh, I got them from Sports Direct for like so it was like three fifty for like a hundred. And you can you know you can put them in. You can do what you need to do with them. Uh, make them any length you need or want, uh, and just hit the ball off them as you tee up. I usually use these for par threes or uh, when I'm using an iron off the tee. Usually, I don't know. Maybe you know. Sometimes I sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. And then these ones I use for the driver and the five iron, uh, five wood for when I'm hitting off the tees. So they're Castle Tea, and these are from a company called Ocean Tea, um, where they make sustainable bamboo uh, golf tees, and they are honestly. Not not one of these have broken, and I've got a full I've got a full set in here. I think about like. 20 in here and not one of them have broken ever um, and you know it's pretty good that 
it's they're, they're thick, they're thick boys. But yeah, they're very, very nice. Um, very durable, very sustainable for my type of hitting. And yeah, it's just they're all in there. So it's easy accessible, nice little tea bag. Um, beautiful. And then, yeah, I've got my group, my... Uh, I absolutely love this. So look at this. This is a groove repair. This is a pitch repairer. It's like a little pitching wedge or a little sand wedge. It's just so cool. It's just so handy. I like, I wanted something novelty because some of them are usually a bit boring. I was like, no, I want something, I want something different. And I was like, yes, I found this on Amazon. I was like, oh boy. Moving on to the balls, I have various, various like colors, designs. Um, mainly white ones. I do have a couple of orange ones that I use, give or take. Um, uh, I've got this Volvic one here, which is by far my favourite one. Um, but I don't use it. I use it more or less on uh, when I'm running short. I don't like to use this one. It's more or less an, it's more or less a, a collector's item. When I was playing golf like religiously before COVID, I um, I use this one. It almost got me a hole in one on a par three. So it's a very it's a very lucky ball this one. I love the Volvic brand. I would love to use a Volvic brand more. Um, but I will maybe see about doing them. When I start getting a handicap and competition, maybe start using Volvic balls for comps and stuff. Other than that, I just have a random selection of balls. Um, there's a Titleist one here, it's an orange one. Um, it's a pro trajectory one. I've got various little sizes and not sizes but like random balls that I call my practice balls and uh, really it's all all I need really because um, I'm not playing oh god I'm not playing in competitions as of yet so it's kind of like I don't I don't need them to like be good I just need them to practice so then if I lose one I'm not fussed I've got more I've got more in, in like a bag in my room um, that I can use whenever and however. Like they range from like Dunlop to Top Flight to whatever the frigger a pro staff is. A distance pro staff. Um, this one is probably one of my favourites. It's called Attack Life. It's got a Greg Norman shark on the back. Apparently distance, I don't know. It's just random, random, random balls that I like to use when I'm when I'm practicing. All right, but that's 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 everything. Um, yeah, that was that's what's in my bag for when I go play golf. For the spring, it is springtime as I'm recording this. So, of course it will change during the the colder months with like um, I've got like a cover to go over them for the rain and stuff like that. I'll have a brolly, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, that keeps you dry and whatnot over the over the winter months and everything. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. That's my life. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I will catch you all in the next one. If you're not done, try to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Pack, to the channel. Share the video, share it with everyone. It's been a great, great, great video. I've enjoyed doing this, you know, looking what's in the bag and talking you through it especially for like new people who are interested in golf and honestly if you do want to get into golf please do so because you know it's always fun for new people to get involved and it's always a great sport to start at whatever age um, I started playing when I was 17 um, and obviously it's been a while since I played but you know I, I, I was pretty alright I was pretty alright um, but yeah so Feel free to uh, feel free to enjoy this video if you've not done so already. I mean, you would have done if you made it this far. What am I saying? What, is, what, what am I saying? Just uh, oh no, I don't know. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Till then, much love. They can't see the